Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of the vlog. We've got episode number 111 today and as I spoke about yesterday we've got some testing towards the end of this week. So we'll be talking about different techers, different things we can do, different things you can help yourself with to help towards the testing that you may have coming up. And probably most of these things won't just apply to rowing, they'll apply to everything maybe but first things first we've got to get into cabbage we've got to get changed we've got to stretch and we've got to get on the water so let's get to it Made it to the crew room post session on the water. The water well, is pretty windy out there, and we almost fell in just a couple times, so better than a few times. <laughs> oh, yeah. But now it's time to fuel up because remember, food is fuel. We've got a breaded egg toast bagel edition, and we've got a bunch of presents here for the secret set. I wonder what this is. That could be anything from a bag of sand <laughs> to a bag of cement, <laughs> or it could be anything else in that shape, but who knows. But now, we're gonna fuel up, so let's get to it. And it's time to go back in the boat with George Ross's Oh yeah. After a lovely row with George in the pair, the water has been absolutely excellent for us today. Almost flat, give or take a lot of wind and a lot of waves. But it's all good prep. Maybe we'll have to race in it this week as we do the testing. Maybe not, hopefully not. But we'll have to fly down the course at some point. So all rowing is good prep for rowing and racing. But now it's time to fuel up because food is fuel. And that is us finished for the day. I had a lovely little roll with Callum there, but the GoPro batteries decided it was time not to record and to not have any charge left. Oh, I've dropped a sock. And now it's time to recover for the testing. First day starts tomorrow, but I'm gonna get out the rain, get to the house and we're gonna discuss when I get home about recovery for testing. So let's have a safe trip, oh yeah. And we've made it to the house. I've actually been in for a little bit. I came straight in, threw my washing in the washing machine and then had a little nap. Because that is one of the keys to recovery. So I'm gonna just turn on the light over here. That's one of the keys to recovery for test week is having enough sleep for this, the roof ceiling in this house is a bit low, but having enough sleep for the testing, being prepared for the testing. So, camera is placed. So, big things about test week, having enough sleep, like I just said. I also had a lovely snack, had some hummus, had some cheese, had some, I actually had like a pizza, just easy in the oven. Uh, just for some extra fuel that I might need, just for some extra fuel that I wanted, because today was actually quite a tough day. We rode with all the people that were going to be rowing for the testing, and also having the wind was quite strong, so it was quite uh, like a hefty crosswind, cross head, depending on which way you were. But basically, it meant that you're trying really hard one way, you spin and think you get a break and then you're trying really hard the other way. So it's just like a constant, just pushing against the wind. So that makes, made the training today extra hard, so I had like an extra snack to fuel up post that training. So that's one thing. So fueling up during the week for test week, uh, sleeping during the week for test week, and that's not just napping. So 
for me, it means making sure I'm going to bed at the right time so I can wake up at the normal time. No. It means that I'm going to bed at a suitable time at the time and for the time I usually wake up. So for me, I wake up at 6.41 and then we go back from that. So I probably want to be asleep on test week at the very latest uh, about 10.15. And then if we're doing extra hard training, if there's an extra high intensity, you can throw in a nap in there as well. And that means that I feel extra not sleepy so that's pretty good and like i've said before for pre 2k um when you get enough sleep that means when you're not asleep you're more awake uh-huh oh yeah okay so we've talked about fuel because food is fuel we've talked about sleep sleep is very important and other key parts of recovery for test week. Making sure that during the test week, so for us, we have two days of testing this week and we had testing at the weekend. So three or four total days of testing. So you don't want to think, okay, so this week so far, we've got Wednesday and probably Friday testing. So there's a day in between and that day in between isn't, that doesn't mean, okay, I've not got testing that day. I can go out in the afternoon go last minute Christmas shopping. Uh, no, that means like, for example, today I had an extra nap and prep for tomorrow. And then on Thursday, I'm going to chill out again, relax, make sure I'm not on my feet for too long. And that, that applies to sort of any regatta, any testing, anything. You just want to make sure you're prepping for the actual testing. You're giving your body one enough time to recover and two, giving your body it's the best chance to have as much energy you can give it for testing. For us, the testing is going to be, it's going to take most of the day. So it starts at around nine tomorrow and then we'll go, before, we'll go after lunch. So we'll probably finish at about three, nine till three. And so that means that it is a quite a long day and a very high intensity day as well. So especially where you're basically just going down the course as fast as we can multiple times rather than a normal training day when you have lower intensity and you've got longer breaks and all that stuff. So we have a lot of testing. So that brings me to the final part of recovery. So I'm doing these vlogs and for you guys, you've obviously got other things to do, not just rowing or not just your main focus. You have, have other main focuses. You have other, you obviously have other focuses as well. So for tomorrow, since the testing, like I said, will be done from uh, nine till three. What I'm going to do is see what I can film tomorrow, but it won't be a sort of, getting to Cabsham, uh, filming what's going on, putting a boat, the camera on the water, filming the racing, see how we react and all that stuff. It will be, what I'm planning on doing is a sort of review of the racing, go, how it goes for me, just so, so I've actually been looking back at the vlogs and it's really interesting to see how either I thought or what I said at the time and how I've improved or not improved on the things I've said at the time or and so i can actually look back at these things and even just for, for looking back in general so what i'm going to do is for tomorrow it'll be like a diary of the day kind of thing but that will be after the day is complete so i'll let you guys know how i felt the the pieces went i'll let you guys know how the weather was like today if the if the weather is like today and we're doing those pieces is going to be interesting. Like I said, you're all, you're pushing against the wind both ways and it's not the fastest conditions. So it will make for an interesting matrix. And yeah, I'll let you guys know what's kind of going on tomorrow for that. So like I said, it's not going to be a normal video tomorrow. And then recovery, best recovery for test week. Good sleep. I've spoke about sleep so often. Food, because food is fuel. And making sure you're focusing on the testing or, or whatever the, you make sure you have one main focus and you're not getting distracted by other things for example Christmas shopping 
But that will be it for today's video, Yam Squad. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Great day rowing around Cavisham today, even if the weather was a, made it a bit of a struggle. And I'll see you after the first part of the Matrix. All right. And as always, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and have a good one.